Hey friends, and welcome back to another hair tutorial here with the Pom Pom Sisters. I am doing Kalia and Kehlani's hair today. So I came across this colorful pack of hair by Bobby Boss called Just Glam, and I loved it. It just screamed summer for me. So I'm gonna be showing you guys two styles that I am going to be doing using this hair. Now, of course, before we go any further, shall I not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button, sis. If you are new to our channel, go ahead and hit it. We would love for you to be a part of family to all of my returning subscribers. Hey, mamas. Hey, friends. Hey, bestie. Hope you are doing well and being blessed as always. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So I am doing some simple straight back feed in braids uh, on Kaylani's type two wavy hair. I love using braiding hair on her hair texture, even though her hair texture doesn't exactly match the braiding hair texture. It blends in very well where it's not super noticeable. And it also helps with the longevity of the braids. The styles last like an extra week and a half longer if I don't use the braiding hair. And plus this pop of color was just screaming Lonnie's name and she loved it. So this style will last at least two weeks on Kehlani and I don't really touch up on it or anything I let it be let it just ride out and then after that two weeks we restyle it and of course I have to give you a story time on my middle child uh my Lonnie so um this morning taking the girls to uh, daycare I was dropping them off and the girls are in the back holding this extensive conversation about the middle child the oldest child the youngest child you know how they play roles as siblings and stuff like that and the girls do be they watch take TikToks so there has been a lot of TikToks going on where Lonnie um and Kalia are watching about like the the rivalry between the oldest sibling the middle Middle sibling and the youngest sibling and Lonnie pretty much took away from all of the videos that she sees on TikTok that you know the nobody likes the middle child like the middle child is the hated of all siblings so you know she's sitting there talking about Kalia and I don't interject you know unless they ask me to I just kind of just listen unless the conversation starts going a little sideways then I might intervene so I'm just listening and she's like you know telling Kalia like yeah everyone hates the middle child and I hate being the middle child and you know everybody likes the oldest and the youngest nobody cares for the middle child Child, at least that's what TikTok tells you. And so, you know, Kalia's like, well, Lonnie, it's TikTok. TikTok isn't real. And I'm glad Kalia has that perspective, per, uh, has that view of um, social media. Social media is not real. Like, it's, it's all just stories, fun, and games. Like, don't get worked up on it. So, Lonnie was just like, well, I'm gonna ask mommy and see if mommy, you know, is, if she'll, t you know, cause mommy's gonna tell us the truth, I'm gonna ask mommy. And you know, she, she kind of like hesitated in asking me cause I guess she felt a little silly in a way of asking if, you know, pretty much if we hate her. Cause pretty much the question she's gonna ask is, do you hate the middle child? So Kalia's just like, well, I'll ask it for you since you seem to be a little uncomfortable of asking mommy, you know, mommy, do people hate the middle child? Ke Kehlani has, you know, convinced herself that we don't like her because she's the middle child. Of course, immediately I'm just like, Lonnie, that's not true. I said the, I said the pr people make that assumption because the middle child is kind of just stuck in the middle and you know, people feel like they don't really belong as an oldest child where you get all these responsibilities, nor are you treated like the youngest child because they're the baby. They pretty much get away with everything. I said, you're just kind of stuck in between and that can be a rough you know, position to hold, to be stuck in the middle. The middle child kind of struggles with the identity crisis pretty much. So I try to explain that to her. She's just like, oh, okay. I said, no, we don't hate you, Lonnie. Like we absolutely love you. So I don't want you to, you know, think that at all. I said, plus you're just as annoying as Kalia and Boo. I promise you, I don't think you're more annoying than any of the two. Y'all are all equally annoying in my book. So you don't have to worry about mommy thinking or you think that mommy hates you only. No, 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 no. You and your sisters are all annoying. So I'm finishing up Lonnie's hair with some foam mousse. I'm gonna wrap it real quick, let it dry. And this is the finished look for her straight backs. These lasted two weeks. Now let's move on to the oldest daughter, Kalia. 
So we're going to do like a fun braided ponytail. I've been seeing this look like everywhere on my Instagram, on TikTok. And I wanted to do it on myself, but I fear my hair is too short to pull into a ponytail. And I just don't want to fight with having to put my hair into a ponytail. But I know Kalia's hair can go into a ponytail, so we're going to make this work. So I am centering out where I want the ponytail to pretty much be centered at. Um, I wanted to do it kind of high. I didn't want to do a low one. So I'm just doing like a middle ponytail pretty much like directly in the middle of her head. This is going to help with gripping all of that because y'all see how much hair my child has. I cannot put all that into a sensible ponytail it's just no way my hair ties will not allow it so i kind of have to break down putting her hair into a ponytail into like literally three sections just to get it you know smoothed out and whatnot now her hair is not clean and that is also uh, a factor that i'm fighting here she was due for a wash day but I was being lazy. Um, I think this day we had a birthday party to go to. So I was just like, sis, we we just going to put this braid in and, you know, skip wash day for a couple of days. We're just going to be a little neglectful. Um, we'll, we'll come back and do like a, a heavy condition day and, you know, try to bring back the curls. But so I'm just gelling down her edges, brushing it down nice and smooth. I am so proud of myself for getting this mess into a ponytail. Now, like I said, I can't pull this this mess through a ponytail holder. So... I have to take like a headband, wrap it around and kind of like loop it through, pull it tight and then like tuck it. That That is my method for getting Kalia's hair into a ponytail because did y'all, do y'all see this? There's no way. So I then section off her hair into uh, three sections. This These are going to be the sections to form my braid. Here's our colorful pack of hair. And this is the same technique that I use for putting uh, Kalia's hair into a ponytail so this right here how I'm making the little holder for the hair that exact method is what I use for her ponytail so it's like a up close so y'all can see what I do so I'm making three sections into the braiding hair and um I'm gonna just braid like regular um I did have to detangle it because her hair was like very very dirty I had to add a little bit of water kind of soften it up help it out and then we're just gonna braid it on down it's very very easy Of course, I got to do a story time for Kalia. We can't leave her out of this. So Kalia just turned 10. She's like hitting that preteen, you know, tween. I guess that's what they call it now. Uh, in between teenager, like beginning to become a teenager stage. I don't know, but she thinks she grown. I'm going to just say that. She thinks she grown and she she be trying to keep up with all these trends and stuff that be going on and she be listening to her best friends say stupid stuff and so she pretty much regurgitates that mess when she's talking to me and her dad and we just like we can't do nothing but laugh like my child is trying to find out who she is as an individual so we just allow her to just sound corny as hell pretty much so i had bought me some cheesecake y'all and i was like just oh it was a strawberry one i had got it from the bakery and um I brought it home. I had popped it open real quick and the girls come around. Oh, mommy, what is that? That looks so good. I mean, they had the strawberries just drizzling off of the cheesecake. I'm, it was delicious. So I'm, I'm trying to enjoy, you know, my cheesecake. That's why I messed up. For one, I pulled it out with my kids in front of me. I, I messed up there. I should have went into the bathroom and locked the door. But anyways, I'm sitting in the kitchen trying to eat my cheesecake. My kids come around hounding me. Ooh, that looks good, mommy. Yes, yes, it is. Thank you for your observation. It is very delicious. Oh, mommy, let us have a like. We we gotta try some. Let us taste it. I'm like, no, y'all not gonna like this. This this ain't this ain't for y'all. Y'all ain't gonna like this. No, mommy, I think we'll love it. Let's let us have a taste. So I, for some reason, was generous and allowed them to take a bite of my cheesecake. And you know, <laughs> Kalia and Lonnie, they're standing there. And Lonnie's just like, yeah, Kalia, that like is bussing. And I look like, the hell did you just say to me, little girl? And Kalia's just like, yeah, Lonnie, yeah, yeah. So she takes a bite. Mm, Lonnie, yeah, it's bussing, bussing. Who is bussing what? If you don't go sit y'all asses down. Bussing? Oh, yeah, mommy, that's bussing, bussing. Like, girl, I, I just, I, give me my damn cheesecake. Get, get out of my face. I mean, who... 
I hate, I hate it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did the same thing with my mama, saying these stupid, ludicrous terms around her, and she probably just looked at me like I lost my whole damn mind. And I was like, y'all just need to stay off of damn TikTok. I just don't understand why is my cheesecake busting? Like, I just, why? Why can't it just be, oh, mommy, that's delicious. Nah, mommy, ooh, that like is busting. And then Kalia, yeah, yeah, Lonnie, it's busting, busting. I could taste the strawberries. Them strawberries busting, Lonnie. And I was like, you know what? I don't like y'all. I really don't like y'all. I just, I really don't like my kids. So anyways, I'm wrapping this up. So at the center of her braid, we want to wrap up that um, we don't want to see the hairband. So I just took a piece of hair and legit just wrapped that sucker around several times, pinned it down with a bobby pin. I didn't bother doing any like got to be spray or anything because I only went this last to like maybe two, three days. I think I got a good two days out of it before, you know, her edges started, you know, shriveling up and you know, the usual wear and tear of having a ponytail in your head. But this was really cute, like a little party cute, you know, like, it, and it was really, really long. So she loved it. She was slinging that thing, slapped poor Calista in the face with the ponytail. I had to tell her to chill out. So anyways, gang, thank you so much for joining us on a, another hair tutorial with the Pom Pom Sisters. We appreciate all the love and we will see y'all on a, another video. Be blessed and safe.